most of us became aware of you with Inglorious Bastards, which was written by a guy who's known for his dialogue. Yes. <laughs> so I was just wondering if, uh, for you, if that's, I guess, the third or fourth language you picked up, if um, you were aware of how badass that dialogue is. I can say that. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> uh, and I was, uh, I was blown away by reading these lines. It, was, it felt so precious and so incredible, uh, incredible to hold this script in my hands. <laughs> um, a Quentin Tarantino script, but some, some of it was even handwritten, as far as I remember. Yeah, the title was always his his own handwriting, yeah. and I think he still writes on a typewriter. Um, so, uh, so yes, um, and it was so good. And of course, he knows that it's so good that <laughs> not a word was touched. Uh, that's something I never experienced again. And then the funny thing for me was to read it in English first, but then doing it in French and German because it ended up, ended up being you know uh, shot in in uh, in these languages. Uh, and I remember uh, a funny moment uh, when I had my audition with, with Quentin. Um, I normally, I'm not that great at auditions, and I wasn't at that one either. I felt like it's 50% at least worse than when, you know, when I had prepared it at, at home. So um, I got a bit disappointed and nervous, but then uh, I knew that ultimately it would be in French and, and German. And Quentin said, yeah, it's such a shame. You know, we, don't, we don't, still don't have the translation. It would be so great to listen to you in French. Or and then um, I thought like, well, he's American. He probably only speaks one language. So the French words that I don't know, I'm just going to say them in Spanish. And I'm going to just invent my, you know, fake, fake French language. And so I did. And it was much better. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then um, I got the part. He really enjoyed that. 